<laughs> oh, there you go. So basically, yeah, so it's great uh, that we have people here because actually this is the very first teaser <laughs> on the science teaser. We are launching this now um, because what we want to so actually uh, support and enable people to do research at the tiny forests and many tiny forests. So the idea is actually, uh, actually also because it is very difficult to get to everyone's uh, tiny forest to have a space to talk about what we are doing, why uh, remotely. So online calls are actually a really good way of making that happen. So I'm gonna share actually, I think instead of having me talking endlessly, I'm gonna share um, uh, a short PowerPoint that will, I think, best you know, um, show you what the research is about. If I can get this started, bear with me. Okay, can you all see a presentation mode here? Yep. Yeah, that's great. Excellent. So yeah, this is actually uh, what the science is about. That's the teaser. Uh, uh, basically, and it's, it's about what we are learning already about the tiny forests and how and how you can be part if you, you actually wanted to, uh, to be part. So my name is Macarena Cárdenas and one of Earthwatch scientists and working in tiny forests. I've worked um, uh, I think I have people trying to join, maybe. maybe try. So I've been working uh, for Earthwatch actually for a while and I dedicate uh, uh, at the moment in, in understanding the, the ecosystem services of, uh, of tiny forests. Let me see, did I have? No, I think we're fine. Okay. Yeah. So, I think back. you just came out of the presentation mode. Yes, back again. Yeah, okay, Perfect. great. So basically that's what it is about. And um, I work, as I said, in developing the methodologies and actually making sense of and, and, and the understanding of what um, the services and the, the good things that we're getting from uh, the tiny forest, uh, that actually we get the most important part is to engage anyone really in this understanding. So basically this is a joint effort of everyone that collects data, everyone that is behind the scenes, scenes to actually get that data and to make sense of, you know, how uh, green spaces, how green urban spaces such as Tiny Force are actually supporting us in our well-being and the environment's well-being. So today we're gonna, it's gonna be a very short kind of description of all of this. I know that you know what tiny forests are, so I'm gonna kind of pass through that very quickly. Um, but why do we need tiny forests? I mean, the perspective from the research perspective, uh, the kind of things that we are measuring, uh, the importance of the research, citizen science, what is it? What is the value and your value by kind of doing the citizen science and how to get involved on it? So I know that you all know that we all have these tiny forests have been planted with a specific methodology, which is the Miyawagi method, that allows us to have this very highly dense and yet uh, biodiverse uh, native uh, small patches of woodland, right? And that they have around 600 trees and that um, we are gonna be doing the measurements from and that we have been planting ourselves since last year. Thanks to you know uh, the development after the pandemic, so that's really good. Here you have an example, and you probably have seen this image. It's the evolution of our first tiny forest. It's the Whitney tiny forest, where you know at the top you have there uh, the day of the planting, um, and then you can see how actually in one season it already you know started growing. It had the the, the leaves. By July 2021, we had already. Uh, a meter and a half trees from having planted just 60, 80 centimeters high trees. So that's quite impressive. Now, next year that became into, you know, uh, uh, a good jungle kind of thing. And quite impressive. I went last week on Thursday to actually do the recordings. You probably saw it in the web, in the Facebook. Trees are tall 
and it's looking very good. Um, so it's, it's very exciting. So this is something that you will expect to see in your time force. So what are tiny force and how do they like, uh, how do they look like this? It, it is basically this very dense and it'll be very exciting to their research on this and how do we get into this jungle? Why do we need it? And here, there are so many reasons, but there are three things that we like to highlight. And these are these three big topics that are, it can be quite overwhelming. And, you know, we are doing our best together with you and everyone, the corporates, the schools, everyone to act tackle and do something about it. You know, we feel very powerless, uh, but yet this is something simple that you can do. You can take 10, 15 minutes of your day to actually do, you know, a simple task uh, of data collection, for example. Climate change, we know what it is. Um, the, the worst part of this is actually that increases the risk to the natural disaster we are already seeing, to the global diseases, the loss of the economy, and you know, the uh, well-being, you know, it's, it, it puts its stress uh, um, within countries and uh, countries, uh, we end up also, uh, climate change is highly linked to uh, um, war and uh, this connection between countries. So definitely doing something about that is of high importance. Um, I don't know if you've read or seen this fact, 68 of the global population by 2050 will be in urban areas. So imagine how we are now uh, heavily populated, how we're going to handle it. We need to bring nature back, bringing nature back to cities is one important step to do that will support us on that, to actually make a sustainable change. It doesn't mean that we don't have to live there, but actually we have to make it work well. And the disconnect uh, from nature. This is this is how actually has become to be called the nature deficit disorder. It is causing in young people, in adults, all sorts of uh, different uh, challenges that are seen as uh, illnesses now. Um, we th there are reports and research about the dim diminished use of the senses from young kids because we are not spending enough time outside. Um, attention difficulties and. Uh, high rates of physical and emotional illnesses. So again, nature, bringing back nature to cities is a key thing that we can do. And so the research, okay, that is an important, but so what are we studying? So linked to those key topics, we are researching five different things that are key, uh, heavily linked to these uh, challenges. So we can measure it and evaluate how tiny forest and how nature is supporting to those challenges. And this is thermal comfort, which means how, um, how nice it is to be in a place, right? How do you feel? How actually comfortable is for you to be in a city? Uh, if you think about the city and again in summer, how does it feel like? So thermal comfort is not great in heavily urbanized areas. Flood management and how, again, uh, we have imposed uh, um, so much pressure and now flood is so normal. We are expecting it every year. So how can we manage it actually using nature uh, within our cities? Carbon capture, of course, is, is one of the drivers, key drivers for climate change. Can we do something with nature? And how much tiny forest can, uh, can contribute to this? Biodiversity support and sustenance is actually important to have services from nature, right? Uh, and for nature to survive and, 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 and succeed, right? The important last one is the social benefit that is uh, within all of this, right? Is actually how being integrated in nature is giving us uh, uh, well-being and uh, to give us and supporting health and everything is interlinked it's no one but all of them together actually are being provided by just because we have plants living right in in our cities and we can do that with tiny forests the best of the research is that we do it with people as i said at the beginning and, and you probably know already is actually you guys supporting us and actually having fun um, learning uh, to collect data and actually getting amazed about, you know, how simple science can be and how powerful it is, right? How do we do it? So now we have developed portal, which you probably all have seen. It's our 
uh, website access uh, through our website, the Tiny Force portal, where we can have with a, a QR code, as simple as that, we can have access to surveys, online surveys, where you are guided through step by step to collect the data. We developed this ourselves and actually it couldn't be easier. I'll show you one example. This is the biodiversity for butterflies. And actually the, the methodology is used throughout the UK by conservationists and other researchers. And it's actually spending 15 minutes in the time force and actually just looking through the list of butterflies and clicking um, the ones that you've seen, that you have identified. That itself is such a powerful information. Why? Because uh, butterflies are very sensitive to climate change, are very sensitive to urbanization. Therefore, they, they will provide us information about how they are distributed across the UK if we have them from different tiny forests, for example. It is such a powerful thing to do, simple yet, and actually quite relaxing. So um, what about the social uh, benefits of it? There, there are um, certain factors that we are also trying to understand and what it means we're bringing to you, uh, we're bringing with you actually, uh, these patches of nature within the cities. And we wanna measure, well, how it influences engagement. Do we have more or less social uh, uh, connection with, uh, within people? How it is about uh, education, uh, the new skills and knowledge that people can get through social, uh, the, the tiny forest and the science we do, and just visiting the tiny forest itself as well. Um, what is the sense of well being or accomplishment that may be through uh, by doing, by visiting the tiny forest, but also? through doing the data collection, how it is related or not to empowerment to act. We have a publication where we uh, have seen that actually we have approved that actually people doing citizen science feel more empowered to act yeah, towards nature. And, and actually how it is, uh, how it relates to have this as a reason to gather being in nature within the cities where especially there are uh, areas that are heavily deprived of green space. So what, it, what, it is, what is the impact of tiny forest for all of that? Now, I hope that just mentioning all of that is actually good enough for you. Uh, <laughs> but actually what is important is to highlight how actually through doing citizen science and collecting data and actually as much or little as you want. So we, are, we have a whole range of things and four methods uh, for different topics to do research about, but actually this is about what it interests you, what you care about, um, how do you feel engaged to this? But obviously through any of these, there are new skills that you will learn, new knowledge that you are provided with, that you can also provide to others, that you can be as an example. What is very important also, I can, we cannot highlight enough, all this data that is collected is used by us and with you, if you wanted to get involved on that as well, on understanding what are the best management for these urban areas? How we can support these green areas to provide the best benefits? And this, it's aimed to go into developing new practices and policy influence uh, that are of national importance. We are right now taking decisions on how we develop urban areas. And this information, the scientific research is, will be fitting into that. So uh, there is also, uh, by participating actually and, and, and collecting data, it enables us also to highlight the benefits uh, of tiny forests, which instead uh, help us to actually get more tiny forests planted in more deprived deprive areas. If we can prove, you know, um, what the benefits are, uh, then we'll get more support to get it to other people that need it. Uh, more. So basically, these are, I think, very key parts. There are so many other things besides the fact that it's so fun and it's interesting. It is a good excuse to be outside, you know. Uh, those are uh, very important uh, topics. So how do you get involved? 
Well, the first of all, you know your tiny force, but actually you may be surprised if you haven't seen the map in our portal, uh, that there may be uh, many more tiny forests where you can go. Then you can tune in into one of the trainings where we're gonna you know, uh, teach you uh, how to collect the data for uh, different topics. And then you can go and do it yourself, or you can also get uh, involved in a science day. So it may be that your tiny force will have a science day, which means that Earthwatch staff will come also to collect data with you. And, uh, or you can join any other as part of the community. And that is open to people and you will start seeing it in the Eventbrite uh, events, yeah? And definitely ask me now, if you want <laughs> to, uh, if you were interested. So here, for example, the online sessions, uh, this is a screenshot of some of the events that are already posted there as, you, as this one was, uh, where we're gonna have the biodiversity training, carbon storage training online, and I promise it'll be very interesting. So you'll be surprised. Coming soon will be the Biodiversity Week from the 21st to the 29th of May. So we're gonna be preparing all of you people to collect data on the biodiversity. And as I showed you before, it's actually quite simple and it's interesting. Uh, it is a good uh, excuse to be outside. Right, uh, some days for your calendar. I think uh, this again is just replicating a little bit of what is shown in the Eventbrite, but actually, you know, we have in May the biodiversity training with uh, the induction. So you will see an even bright combine of more teasers with training, science days. So keep an eye on all of those. Yeah, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. And these are some pictures from events I've attended um, uh, where we have people, uh, the science day collecting data and people collecting data independently as well. That's it. That's what I wanted to uh, share with you. I will uh, stop the share and I will stop.